Let's prove that for integers x, y, if x squared plus y squared is even, then x plus y is even. This one might be a little bit difficult, so we're going to have to be creative with our strategy. Because all we know that we can start with is that x squared plus y squared is even. Now, to progress from here, we're going to do something clever to get to x plus y. And what that is, is we're going to end up trying to get some sort of factoring going on. So let's say we have x squared plus y squared, and we want to uh, complete the square so we can factor it. What we're going to need is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Now, if we factor that, we're going to get x plus y times x plus y out, which is exactly what we're going to want to get. But this isn't the original function we started with. So we're going to have to end up subtracting 2xy at the same time to just maintain x squared plus y squared. So we know that this is going to be even because it's just x squared plus y squared, and we know that's even. Okay, now, what do we know? Well, let's do some factoring here. So we can factor the first three terms as x plus y plus x plus y minus 2xy. Now, what do we know about this? Well, if the original is even, and we're subtracting something that is 2, well, it's still going to be even as well. So actually, let's just do this. Now what we can do, we know this whole thing is even. So what does that tell us about its parts? How do we get to even? Either we're going to get odd minus odd, or we're going to get even minus even. That's the two ways of doing this. But what do we know about this term 2xy? We know that this is even, so this is going to be an even minus even situation. So what that tells us is that x plus y times x plus y is even. Okay, now what do we know about even numbers? What's the way that we can get to an even number? It's either going to be an even times an even, or it's going to be an even times an odd. So here's the thing, it can't be an even and an odd because x plus y are the same thing. x plus y has to be the same parity because it's the same thing. So the only way it's going to work in this case is if it's even even. Therefore, from this, we can, we can claim that x plus y is even and the proof is complete. So I don't think this proof was too complicated. It just requires some creativity and some knowledge about maintaining evenness. So this is a good problem that you can use to practice your parity rules.